Most students, when they first learn about Newton's second law, get hung up on the idea of sigma f equals ma. You got to remember that sigma f means net force. It means total force. It just means you add up every force you can think of, and that's what equals mass times acceleration. We don't deal with forces on their own, how they affect an object. We look at all the forces acting at once and see how all together they affect the object. The best way I have to demonstrate this is to show you kind of a surprising result. So I've drawn here an old postal scale and a pair of textbooks sitting on top of it. In the next little video, you're going to see that I got on the elevator and rode the elevator with this setup and filmed what the scale was reading. I started on the second floor. I pressed one, so the elevator accelerated downward, and then a number of other different things happened. And we can actually figure out what was going on just by what the reading on the scale was. So what's going on? Well, first of all, we have to look at what forces are on these books. It's not one force, it's sigma f, the total force. So the obvious force, of course, is that gravity is acting in the downward direction, and it tends to accelerate those books towards the center of the Earth. That doesn't happen because the scale and the ground is able to push back, we call that a normal force. And to figure out what's going on, we got to think about the interaction between these two forces. An important thing to understand is that the scale is not measuring gravity. It's measuring this normal force. There's a spring inside. The harder the scale has to push, the more that spring gets uh, compressed. And that's how the needle knows what to point out. So just so this makes a little bit more sense, I'm going to uh, let you see the motion. And then I'll come back and we'll start trying to figure out how we can use this picture to help us understand what's going on. So you probably noticed that the scale did not read a constant 14.5 pounds the whole time. That's what it started out as, so that must be what the weight of the books actually is. At first, it actually seemed to drop down to about 13 pounds, and then it went back to 14.5 for a while. And then, at the very end, it jumped up to about 17 pounds before returning to normal. So let's look at these two forces. Well, clearly gravity's not changing. You don't go on an elevator and have your weight change. The Earth is still pulling you just as hard as it was before. So what must be going on? This normal force must be changing. And this normal force must be um, what's causing sigma f to be different. How do we know sigma f is going to be different? Well, because sigma f has something to do with acceleration. And I think it's pretty clear that that elevator was definitely accelerating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a break. Uh, there'll be a still photo in between this video and the next where I convert all the units that were on um, that postal scale, which is in U.S. pounds, into the, the metric and SI units we use in physics. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll try to see if we can figure out what was happening with that elevator.